So, you finally decided you want to learn Python, but you don't know where to start from. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the first steps you need to take to actually get started. If you're new here, my name is Fabio and on this channel I talk about web development and programming. If you're interested in those two topics, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon down below so you get notified every time I post new videos. Let's get started! If you want to start using Python and start programming with Python, of course you need to download it and install it. So here I am inside python.org and I'm going to download it. So I'm going to go to downloads. Python. Here you've got the version 3.9, okay, but if you're running another Windows version other than Windows 10, as you can see here, you need to download a version like the 3.8. In this case, you have to go here, view the full list of downloads, then scroll down, and here you can find the version you want Python 3.8.6, for example, Python 3.9, etc., etc. I've got a Windows 10 machine, so it's not a problem for me, so I'm going to download it. I'm going to go ahead and save the file and wait for the download to complete. Now I'm going to open the installer. Here we are, so I'm going to install it. Make sure you take this box because it's really important. If you don't add it to path, I'm going to show you what will happen. So you want to make sure that you actually tick this box. Okay, so install now. Okay, so now finally we've got Python installed on our computer. So I'm going to close this. So now that Python is installed on a machine, we can actually run it. We can do that from the command prompt. And we can do that just because we added Python to the path variable, which is a Windows environment variable, which means that we can run Python just by typing the name of the program, in this case Python, and then the command after. For that reason, I actually told you to tick add to path in the installation process. So now I'm going to open the command prompt, which is here. Okay. Just to show you if we hadn't added Python to the path variable, what would happen is that it wouldn't recognize the, the program to run, okay? So basically, let's say I'm gonna add v1 just to, just to pretend that we try to run something that is not inside the variable, the path variable. I'm gonna hit enter, and as you can see, it's not recognized. If we run Python, on the other hand, you can see that actually the Python shell is actually loaded. Okay, so here we are for the first time inside Python, okay, inside the Python shell. Here you can do whatever you want. For example, you can add numbers, you can declare variables, you can define functions and stuff like that of course you don't want to to do that from the command prompt but you want to create a file a py file and then run all the code inside the py file instead of having to to write all the code inside the shell but this is just a starting point to to see how it works and how you can do things inside python check out the syntax and all the things that comes with Python, okay? So that, that is really interesting. And this also shows that we actually installed Python correctly and everything is working just fine. So now I'm gonna close this up. So now that everything is working just fine, we can start writing our code. To do that, I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code and I'm gonna show you what to install to make the most of it when programming with Python. So I'm going to open Visual Studio Code. Here we are inside. So one thing that you want to install is 
the Python extension. So you have to go here in extensions. By the way, if you want to know more about how to get started with Visual Studio Code, check out my other video that I'm gonna I'm gonna put up in the cards, and I'm also going to put the link in the box down below. Okay, so here's Python. I'm gonna make this bigger. Okay, so the extension you want to install is this, but you can also search for Python, and there you go. You've got the same extension. So I'm gonna install it. So basically, this extension adds support for Python, linting, debugging, as you can see here, IntelliSense, and other things. You want to have it when coding. Okay, so now it's installed. I'm going to close this. And now you can actually start coding. So as I mentioned, the Python extension comes with linting. Linting actually highlights all the problems so like syntax problems styling problems inside your code so you want to turn it on to turn it on even though it's on by default you just have to go down here command palette search for python enable linting i've already looked for that so it's shown here recently used okay but you can look for enable linting okay Click on it, okay, and then currently is on. You can turn it off, but if I were you, I would leave it on because it's really good to see problems inside your code. It's really useful when you are advanced, but it's especially useful when you're starting because you're gonna make a lot of mistakes, like really, really subtle mistakes that actually can break your code really easily. So I would leave it on. So, I've shown you how to run Python from the command prompt. You can do that from here as well. So, I've just opened my terminal, and here is like is exactly the same as the command prompt. So, I can run it from here. Okay, and I'm inside Python again. So, it's really, really easy, really useful to have everything in one place. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close it. Okay, so now we've got everything in place to start programming with Python. We've got the text editor, the extensions installed, Python installed. So now we can start writing code. So what I'm going to do now is showing you how you can actually run a Python script. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to go to my desktop and create a new folder. And I'm going to call it Python projects okay i'm gonna open it and then i'm gonna open this folder with code okay here we go so now we are inside a python projects folder i'm gonna create a new file called script.py okay which is a python script and then here we can do whatever we want Actually, you don't know a lot of Python because you're starting out, but I'm just going to show you a basic thing. So let's say that you've got a variable one, and then you've got another variable two, okay? And then you want to print the result, so x plus y, okay? So this is a simple script. I'm going to save it. And to run it, you actually can do that in different ways, okay? You can go to the terminal, open a new terminal, you are inside the Python projects folder. Here you can just type Python, which is the name of the program, and then the name of the script to run. So script.py, enter, and as you can see, the result is printed out in the console, okay? So this is one way to actually run a Python script. I'm gonna close this. You can do that from the debugging tool. So run and debug, Python file, debug the currently active Python file, Gonna run it, and here you've got the exact same result. The debugger is really useful when you actually have a lot of code and you need to check things. You can, you know, place breakpoints wherever you want, and then you can stop the code. You can have a look to the variables, you can have a look to the values and stuff like that. So it's really useful to run it 
with the debugger, okay? If you don't need to debug, which is a thing that you should do, okay? You can just run it from the terminal, and that's the same thing. You can do that from the command prompt, okay? You just have to cd into the right folders, and then you can run Python. So let's try that out. I'm gonna open the command prompt, which is here, my command prompt. So I'm gonna cd into my desktop, and then cd into Python projects. And then I can see that there's my script there, so I can run Python script.py, and here you've got the same result. Okay, so these are different ways you can run your Python code. And, and that's it actually. So you can run it from the command prompt, you can run it from a terminal inside Visual Studio Code with the debugger, which is the best way you should use when you're actually debugging something. So you can place breakpoints, you can place breakpoints here, you can stop the code from running and then check things in the meanwhile, etc. etc. So different ways you can do that. And now I think that is actually time for you to start writing meaningful code. Okay, so I'm gonna close this. What I would suggest you to do now is check out the documentation here. You've got a beginner's guide, you've got the docs. So if you go to the beginner's guide, or if you go back to the home page, you can go to the docs, and here you've got other resources, okay? And also, Stay tuned because I'm going to make more videos about Python. So now everything is ready and you can start experimenting with Python. So what are you waiting for? Go and do that. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it with your friends. Also, subscribe to the channel and yeah, you guessed it. Hit the bell icon as well so you get notified when I post new videos. That's all for today, guys. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.